Welcome to First Look, my name is Tom, and today we are checking out an upcoming action roguelike game. This is Jotun Slayer, Hordes of Hell. We're playing the demo, also a horde survival game, which I love. Um, there's a little blurb here from the devs saying, you know, it's very early build, and there's going to be a lot more added to the game in the future. I did one run to see what I thought, and I dig it. Of course, there's some meta progress. This will get more fleshed out, I'm assuming, uh, throughout development. Probably going to do a run on the Berserker class in here there's a couple different characters you can play as we're gonna go berserker there's gonna be different weapons of course they're not all available here we're just gonna have this guy here crippling axes different skins i don't know if this is actually gonna have anything tied to it maybe it will later uh so this weapon comes with the toss ability throws eight axes in different directions piercing and damaging enemies 30 damage Cripple chance 100%, there's a 30 second cooldown, and cripple, what it does is it makes it so enemies do 30% less damage. Let's jump in. There's going to be more maps coming, of course. We're going to Nilfhelm. Different difficulties and modifiers, I'm not there yet, I didn't make it very far in my first run. But I think this one, this one looks very promising. Like, very promising. All right, so we've got 15 minutes on the timer. There's going to be different objectives that are going to come up as we play through here. Gold, that's for our meta progress. So we're going to go Berserker here. I'm not going to do Freya because I, um, I did her on my uh, test run. We're going to go here. Uh, what do we have? Assault. We should probably take an active ability. A strong straight line attack rotates 90 degrees with each cast. Does decent damage. And then, as you can see, we can uh, level it up a little bit further. Okay, so that was just, yeah, it was a straight shot. So here's our objective. we got to go and light these. Lots of food that you can pick up throughout the map. More gold to pick that up. It's got a lot. We're going to take damage, and I, I don't really care if I take damage, because we get we get lots of health. Thor is one that I'm curious about. So we're going to run Thor as a secondary god. Oh, Mjolnir. Uh, Thor's hammer hits enemies and returns back. We're doing that. Just for fun. Thor again. Uh, what about passives? I should probably work in some passives here. Chance to stun enemies with each attack. Um, each attack has a chance to strike multiple nearby enemies with chain... Oh, you know what? Let's do chain lightning. just want to see how the lightning effects look. They look really nice. Huh? So there's five objectives, it looks like. I, I, I didn't make it that far to see what they all were. We're going to go Berserker. More movement speed, higher crit chance. I think we go crit chance here. That could be very useful. There's our ability, those axes. And there's a 30 second cooldown. A bit of a long cooldown, I'd say. We'll have some chicken. Floor chicken. Or... Oh, let's go here. More range. Shock chance now. Really not avoiding damage at all. More Thor. Uh, what do we have? Stun chance, static charge. Upon taking a hit, there's a chance to strike multiple. You know, I'm getting hit a lot, so I think that's good. We can strike multiple enemies. We're going to have lightning going like crazy. And we have a minute to just kill before the next objective. Oh, there's a chest. 
that we can actually go to. A bit of a destructible environment, which is also cool. I'm a big fan of uh, games putting things in where it's uh, kind of like objectives for us to, to do, right? So we, it just keeps you busy. It's more than just killing. What we got here? Some gold. Pull all experience crystals from a large area. Um, That's interesting. I wonder if it's just like a, it's probably just a one-off thing. Bundle healing. We'll take that, we'll take that. I know I've got some experience. Maybe there wasn't much. And you. I think this thing drops gold. Here we go. Or we do have rerolls. Um increase health. Lightning strikes in every direction, hitting nearby enemies. Triggers on level up. Um, yeah, sure, you know what? That's fine. Now we got Grave of the Champions. I'm getting, I'm getting beat up pretty bad here. Alright, so let's do this. I'm getting wrecked. Holy. Gonna die. I'm gonna die. This is bad. Please be chicken. It was not chicken. Uh oh. Well, I'm on the run. <laughs> Level up. Um, we better go Thor. How about another active strike ability? We do have a little bit of health regen, but it's very minor. I'm never going to kill these dudes. Can't get close enough to do damage. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not... These things aren't dropping me any chicken. All I need. Only getting the health back. I've done no damage to the big boy. None at all. <laughs> this is bad. That's his attack? Okay. If you're still here at this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't liked the video, it helps a ton with the algorithm. I'm just backpedaling now. I'm got me on my uh, on my back foot here. Let's see here. We go here. Um, increased damage of each attack. I mean, that could be good. So does that attack speed goes up when our health is low? Because that could be crazy. I'm not 100% sure if that's how it works. Oh, he's almost dead. What about down here? Can I get a healing chest? A uh, pint of mead incur that encourages all warriors, plus 30% damage lasts for 20 seconds. We can pull in crystals. Little flask of thick, bitter purple elixir that speeds up the hero's movement and attacks. Now, um, I'm going to go with... I'm going to keep pulling in that experience. I want to try and level up. Jeez. I've got 12 HP in a dream. <laughs> um, subclass. Oh, how about some more health regen? Okay. 
Anything to make it so that I live. We got some big boys coming. I'm in so much trouble. The health regen could be huge for us, though. It's a very nice looking game. Give it that. It is very nice looking. Easy on the eyes. Just get this health up. We'll be laughing. Nah, and then I gotta focus some things to do some damage. I gotta, I gotta get some more abilities going. There's the chicken. Hey, we're back in, we're back in business. More chicken. All right, let's go get this other grave. That, that was painful. Oh boy. Um, that's a lot of dudes. Okay, we've rezzed him. Chicken? Oh, chicken. Chicken. There's a healing thing over on the left. Again, like most of these games, you start kind of slow, right? Like, uh, as far as leveling goes. And you're not supposed to beat it on the first try. Or in my case, second try. That was a full heal. That's nice. Another level up. So I think she gives more defensive stuff. We're just not worrying about it. Uh, randomly thrown axes. Cutting edge. Roundhouse swing. Swirling axe. I'm going to go with the one that has the fast cooldown. Now, oh, now we got like an actual boss. Okay. I think that's what this is. Not only do we have a side quest boss or an objective boss, we have a real boss. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. We're starting to do some damage, though. Give me more axes or something. Uh, increase weapons attack range? Eh, it could be okay. Chance to trigger rage when taking damage. Oh yeah. Because that's that's going to help us uh, with our health regen as well. Some sustainability perhaps. I think we're going to kill the boss first before the side dude. Totally did. Off that chest. I'm gonna die getting it, aren't I? Oh boy. Essence of the gods, some serious essence from the fog of Jin and Gapep. <laughs> Abyss. The gods themselves were created. God skill upgrade? We take. That just gives us a full on upgrade. So more more lightning strikes? We could roll it, but we're going to roll with that. Curse of Winter is our new uh, objective. I'm going to do this, the axe throw. Let's level that up again. And then the next time, I'll maybe take a passive. I think our main ability would be much better like if we're stuck in a in the middle of a big pack of dudes. Alright, now what? Everybody's frozen? What this is? I guess. Okay, I'd like to work my way up if I can to where that chest is.
Oh boy. I was already trying to film this video once, and uh, yeah, they, they shut the power off to my house doing uh, work on someone else's house. They had a whoopsie. They, not just my house, they shut the town the power off to my entire village. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. First winter, being slow is not good for me. Can I grab that gold? What I got going for me is I do have the health regen. Fine. See that chest. Um, ooh, a bundle heal. More damage. I'll take the heal. Another level. Four. We could go there, lightning strike all the way up. All skills do more damage. Plus 15%. Let's do it. We're fine. Until all of a sudden a massive wave of enemies shows up and wipes me off the map. Sacrificial pylons, okay. Oh boy, is this it? I felt a little bit of a jank. Of course, it is an early build, so you know you might get experience some lag at, at times, potentially. We got to kill enemies within the circle. More Thor. All skills do even more damage. Increased chance for critical hits and its damage. You know what? Let's do that. The graphics for this game are definitely really nice. I, I, I like it. Music's nice. Like, the overall vibe is good. I'm, I'm gonna die. Holy crap. The health just dropped. Got one more of those pillars. Yeah, here comes... This is this is the wave. This is this is what I was afraid of. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in big trouble. More Thor. Um, summons a lightning sentinel that strikes. Ooh, I kind of like that. Not bad. Look at that thing go. Try and get over that. Oh, there's a chest. It could be very nice if we get some luck. More Thor. Sentinel again. Attacks more frequently. Or more damage on all attacks. You know what? Let's do, do the more damage on all on all of our skills. Fuck it all. Mead, more damage. What are you? Bloodlust. For 20 seconds, we get increased crit chance. What's that? A large crystal geode that adds experience crystals when broken. 50% of current level. You know what? I'm going to take it. Try and get a level. Leveling up is very valuable. This, this is a new boss. What the hell, right? Probably not going to be able to pull this off. He's got some interesting stuff going on. Um, let's go here. Chance to explode an enemy when killed. Ooh. I'm dead. Just like that. Just got toasted. <laughs> but we did... You know, we did pretty good. New modifier unlocked. Okay, we unlocked something. Chance on enemy death. Wait. Evil dead. Chance on enemy death. 2% effective and vulnerable. Hasten for 20 seconds. Interesting. 
But yeah, that was the furthest I've been in the game. I think we did okay. What was carrying me there? Probably all of the Thor stuff. It was kind of well balanced. Huh. All right, guys. This was Jotun Slayer, Hordes of Hell. Let me know what you think of this one in the comments. If you want to see more awesome games like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.